happens if my test comes back negative for COVID-19? Negative means you do not have COVID-19 at the time you took the test. If you tested negative, you should know that it does not mean you are immune. If you come in contact with someone who has COVID-19 and or you experience symptoms, you should retest. Meanwhile, continuing to watch out for COVID by following all the safety recommendations. What happens if my test comes back positive for COVID-19? A positive test means you are infected with COVID-19. We know this can be scary. Most people with COVID-19 have mild illness and can take care of themselves at home. Some may go on to have more significant breathing issues. We are here to support you and care for you. There are several steps you need to take to keep the virus from spreading to others you are in close contact with. These include things like washing your hands often, covering your cough and sneeze, and staying home and away from others until you feel better. You will receive a text when your test results are back. If you do not have a phone that can receive texts, you will receive a call. If your test results are positive, you will also be invited to be cared for through our virtual hospital. The virtual hospital allows you to stay at home, be connected to a nurse 24 hours a day, and receive treatment in your home. If you decide to opt into the virtual hospital, you will get a call from a nurse within 24 hours. If you're homeless, can I isolate at home, have high-risk people in the home, or share a bedroom or bathroom with others, we can offer you to stay in a private room in a motel at no cost to you. As soon as you feel better, you can go home back to your family. By not sharing germs, you're protecting your loved ones and keeping them safe. Even if you're not positive but have been exposed and are awaiting results or have flu-like symptoms, you can stay there as well. If you would like to know more, please ask for a social worker. Should I go to the emergency room right away? Your Atrium Healthcare team will help you to decide if you need to go to the emergency room or if you can receive the care you need in your home. Call your doctor or our number if you are having worsening symptoms like shortness of breath, coughing up blood, or vomiting. If you need immediate help for a life-threatening emergency, call 911. I got a call from the health department. Should I answer it? Yes, a nurse from the health department will contact you to answer questions, help you with referrals for any extra support you may need. These could be things such as food, utilities, mental health services. Also, they will guide you to return to work if you need that help. It is very important that you work with them to keep everyone safe. If you believe you missed a call, you may call them to the number in the screen in English and Spanish. I'm concerned that my family, family member doesn't have insurance and uh, is undocumented. Should they go to the emergency room? Yes, if you or a family member need emergency medical care, please come to the hospital. We will take care of you. We want to work out a payment plan at a different time if we need to. The most important thing is for you to get care. We also do not share documentation status, so that will not be a problem. 